a deviation from the normal videos because I saw this in Asda, which used to be owned by Walmart, and it's a laundry egg. Now, these have been around for a while and they tend to be a bit indecisive whether they do anything or not. The ones that you can buy from Chinese outlets, the online marketplaces tend to come with ceramic balls uh, or mineral balls and they claim, you know, they create an ionic effect and they clean your laundry with no chemicals. These ones are different, but I'm still very sceptical about it. But anyway, let's start pouring these out and see what we've got here. So it comes with three sachets of these mineral pellets spring blossom. And they do apparently gradually erode away with time in the washing. Whether that's just wearing wearing away or... Mm, there's a smell of them. They smell like tea for some reason, actually. Yeah, they look like they could dissolve. Uh, but you get three packets of this. And the reviews I found online basically varied between very obvious show we've been paid to review this product and we're going to say nice things about it to other ones that were very wishful saying well it makes a nice smell very faint smell and I, but I don't know if it's doing anything but the clothing seems okay it's worth mentioning that if you just wash your clothing in plain water without detergent unless there's any serious mega stains it will generally come out quite clean here's the tourmaline pellets these are the ones that say creates an ionic effect Mm, they're grey. Okay. Uh, but the other um, reviews I saw basically said, oh no, they don't work. Uh, nothing like my normal laundry detergent because uh, two arrows here you have to line up. Line them up and twist and it clicks a bit like a uh, C-form connector, the ones with this simple latch mechanism. But those reviews varied between the ones that are saying it, it, I don't think it does anything because my, my whites came out looking grey. But keep in mind that standard detergent uses optical whitener. Um, and the other one's saying it just didn't smell like it had been washed. And what they meant was it didn't have an absolutely honking chemical smell like, you know, the fresh linen smell that is pushed by the chemical industry. Ah, make, it, make the air in your house smell like laundry detergent too. Fresh, crisp outdoor linen. But um, the other ones, they were clearly trying to re remove significant stains like uh, grease and deeply entrenched mud, and it wasn't coming out, which you wouldn't really expect. But I'm, I'm going to give this a go, but having said that, I tend to put a squirt of washing up liquid in my uh, washing machine. I don't tend to use standard laundry detergents unless I've got particularly like heavy soilage or just want to freshen things up, and by that I mean odour neutralisation. But I'll give this a go and I'll report back. It's going to take a while to actually be able to do a review. I'm expecting a, a faint smell and that's about... Uh, oh, bachelor tip, by the way. If you squirt too much washing up liquid, that's dishwashing detergent, into your washing machine that all foams up. Add some uh, of the classic um, fabric conditioner, just a scoop of a fabric conditioner washed down through the uh, powder compartment, the detergent compartment into the machine. We'll get rid of all that foam very quickly. That's your tip for the day. But anyway, here's my big pink egg. Now I'm going to give it a go and we'll see what happens. This could take some time. One very big moment, please. And resume. Somewhat sooner than expected. So let's unlock this. And we shall see if the granules have reduced much in size. Oh no, they're everywhere. Uh, not really sure. Certainly, I've only used it for two weeks. Now, I have to say, it did impart a very light fragrance onto garments, but having experimentally used in the past just water to wash my clothing, I found that after you've done that for a certain length of time, you really have to use a bit of a, a suitable soapy detergent. And here's the thing. If these things were actually putting much detergent into water, then during the rinse cycle, they would be leaving your clothes saturated and detergent, wouldn't they? And they, they don't. In fact, the final decider for me was, having used it consistently for those two weeks, three cycles a week, so six cycles, uh, the clothing, uh, when I put it in the tumble dryer, smelt a bit stale. That sort of thing, you know, the bodily salts that come off, sweat and stuff like that, and the natural body oils. I think this was washing out normal sort of sweat and things like that, but 
the oils were remaining, and when it was tumble-dried, there was that strong, slightly stale smell you get, the point which you switch back to using actual soap detergents in the start of the wash. So, um, interesting, but I still get the feeling that these are kind of a quackish product. And in a way, it's good that they discourage people from using too much detergent. I mean, that's one thing I do say. The laundry detergent manufacturers want to use loads of it in each wash cycle. You don't have to use as much, they say. If, if, unless you're wanting super crisp, ultra violet act of whites, uh, just a small quantity of the detergent will work. I often use just a quick squirt, not much of dishwashing liquid, but be aware that some machines can foam up a lot when you use uh, dishwashing liquid in them. And also, if it foams up too much when it tries going into the rinse cycle, it can spray water out the front of the machine because the foam backs up into the detergent uh, compartment. But, um... Yeah, it, it's a, it's an interesting concept, but I really was left the impression this doesn't do much at all. But it was certainly worth trying. It does impart that slight fragrance, but I don't get the feeling that it's perhaps washing clothes as well as using a proper detergent would.